one of the coolest things about art and design is that I can take their ideas, make it my own, put my style into it, and have them look at it and be like, oh, you did a great job. So it's, it's that part of the design and like the incorporation of all of our ideas together and like coming out with a product in the end that's just great is, is probably one of the coolest parts about art. When the road is long and the night is deep. When the load is heavy on your heart When your head's in the clouds, keep it up Cause if you're looking, you can find a silver line No matter where you go My grandfather was a sign painter back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. He had his own shop in Providence, Rhode Island called Ace Sign Shops, super cool sign shop name. Um, you know, back before vinyl, back when sign painting was, that's how people put their product out there. That's how they marketed themselves, which was signs painting. I can remember as a small child, like I vividly remember, like he sat me down one day, he, like, he knew that I had some sort of artistic talent. He saw it in me, he wanted to like, like develop it for me. He, uh, he sat me down, he's like, look, I wanna, I wanna teach you a couple things. And he drew out this city landscape and like the road and how it would like kinda, you know, the buildings were big in the front and they'd slowly get smaller. And uh, just like the perspective on, on that, it, it would just remember like, man, this is, this is cool. You can draw the way a building's, you know, like a picture would look. And I thought that was really cool. And he spent a lot of time like showing me this stuff. Like it was over the course of, I don't know, a few hours, you know, but, but it just, it sticks out in my mind as something that I really remember thinking is like man this is so cool like he would do this at the time you don't really you don't appreciate it because you, you know you're an eight-year-old kid you're like ah, okay cool man I think it's cool you know but you're like eh. but now I guess looking back on it now is, is when I really think that it's awesome that he spent that time to develop that in me I kind of, you know, you know, from drawing pictures as a kid, I kind of just enjoyed it for a bit and then I just, you know, you move on in life and things happen and you just kind of abandon stuff that you, it, it gave you pleasure uh, and didn't draw much anymore, wasn't into it. And then in 2013, um, I got into a very serious motorcycle accident, which uh, put me in a wheelchair and on the couch for you know several months. Um, so I had gone from this guy who could do whatever I wanted to, you know, physically, to now I'm on the couch. I'm a weak, frail person, and and I need to find something new, you know. So I wasn't going to sit on the couch in a wheelchair for six months and just not learn how to do something. So I kind of decided in my mind that. Um, I want to I want to pick up a skill, so I was like I'm gonna learn how to pinstripe. I'm gonna learn how to letter something. So I did it, you know, for a bit while I was on the couch. You know, kind of like pushed hard at trying to figure out how to how to make it work for myself. And but something kind of happened as I was able to get up and walk around and get back to the gym. I realized that it was not the same Joey Grzynia as it was before. You know, like I had limitations, physical limitations, and to be limited in my mind was like, oh man, this is I don't know what to do. Because you have to understand, being physically fit and having the ability to perform at a high level, I mean, that wasn't just a hobby for me. It was required of my job in the military and it was a way of life, you know, it made me who I was. It, it really defined me. So now I had to find something to replace that. That's when it really started to, to take root for me. And that's when I really started to push hard and like try to become better at it.
I'm pretty lucky, I guess, because this is it, you know? I found it. I, I found what I'm passionate about and what I really enjoy doing. And what's more is knowing that the work I do is appreciated and it truly makes people happy. So what could be better than that?